Our live audience today is from the Newport News Police Foundation, and they're here to tell us about their 2014 Field of Friends events coming up in August and how you can get involved. Here now to tell us more are Captain Keith Hartman and Newport News Councilwoman Dr. Sandra Cherry. Welcome, and thanks for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. So first of all, tell us about Field of Friends. Well, in uh, 2006, a couple of our officers were out at one of the apartment projects, and mm -hmm. I noticed some kids jumping off the dumpsters onto mattresses, and they thought that was... They, that just didn't seem right to them, right. that the kids had nothing to play on or, or, um, or no activities. So we put together a field day um, in the apartment project. Uh, we played kickball and uh, softball. We had some hot dogs and hamburgers, and the, the Army came out, the fire department came out, the police were there, and, and other parts of the city um, were there to help the kids, and, and we had a good day. All right, so lots of people got involved, and now it's an annual event. And it, yes, we've been doing it for the last eight years. Wow, that's pretty nice. Um, so how, how is the community also getting involved? One of the things that's important for the community is that we relate to the police department, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that the community has some involvement in Field of Friends. And so we also come out and we volunteer for the event as well, mm -hmm. as well as bring out exhibitors and vendors as well to give back to the community so that they will know that we're all work, working together. Right, and I'm sure in the past eight years that you said you've been doing this, it's been growing. Yes. So how many people are we talking about getting involved between the police department and the community and the residents? Probably about 1,800 for um, the different, because we have it in different precincts. And so I would say about 1,800 for the whole event total. All right, so I'm sure you're looking forward to it. I'm excited, really excited about it, because it's an opportunity for the children to be involved, the police department to be involved, our firefighters, the first responders. Mm -hmm. And it's an opportunity for them to work with the kids in the community um, and so they can see how the police can work with them outside of enforcement, but also to, to get to know who they are as well. And on the law enforcement side, what do you most look forward to? Well, just the interaction with the kids. Um, they, they see us in a different role most of the time of arresting mom or dad. or And, and now we have interaction with the kids where they see us as, as humans besides the, the uniform that we're in every day. And we try to have some interaction with the kids okay. in a positive way. Great. So how do we get more information? How can people get involved if they want to participate? Well, that's it, we are having it at this Saturday. Uh -huh. um, so you have several events. Several events through the course of the month. This Saturday at the Achievable Dream Academy mm -hmm. Tennis Center down on Ivy Avenue. Um, on the 22nd of August at the Boys and Girls Club, which is a partner of ours. Um, can they just call Newport News Police Department? How, sure. Like, is there a website they should go to? Uh, you can go to nngov.com slash police, and uh, on, our, on our police website will have all that information. Okay, great. So, um, again, you can check out the Field of Friends event coming up in August. They have several... Um, days of events, and you can go to their website um, to see how it is. It's, see, look, it says uh, Saturday, uh, 11, it's starts at 11, the Achievable Dream. That's at 726 16th Street in Newport News. Um, Friday, August 22nd at 10 a.m., the Boys and Girls Club out there. And then Saturday, August 23rd at the South Morrison Family Education Center. Of course, you can get all that information online or give them a call.